Hey guys, it's Yourself Fatty here, bringing you the painting and work of the saber. So I figured I'd go over materials real fast, just to kind of be quick. Um, any type of brush really want to use? I use really not as thin, just whatever I have laying down. We use toothbrush, and a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but I tend to use a bristle brush as well. Um, you'll see why in a bit. But you are going to be seeing a lot of my chest because I'm going to be painting down here on this old painting board that my uncle left. So, by the way, this board looks beautiful, by the way. It looks beautiful. Like, I like that look. I like it. Slide onto it. Make another generation. And let's go and use what little bit of battery left to try and make this different. We need a cup of water and whatever paint you like using. I just have red available right now, sadly. This is going to be the joke saber of the movies. I said, um, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading that vlog, but I tried telling you earlier on a vlog that I was trying to do that I am going to possibly give the saber away after we shoot the movie we're going to involve the saber in. So this should be fun working with. Especially trying to get all this sticker off. Fuck it. Sticker will be considered an accent. So I'm going to move you guys over here. I'll have some elevation. I could somewhat, I mean, I guess I could push my head back a bit. And it's ready to work. Shove that in the water to get damp. start with. Oh, you'll also need a nail filer doing it the way I do. This is just a really old one. It's something I'm looking forward to doing. Just go through and really file down little grooves here. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to file off the paint that is on these little grooves. Because once you do that, it gives it more of a blackish look at the tip. And really looks good in the sun. That's going off good. I know a lot of you guys can use sandpaper as well, but um, I found it just simpler, easier to use a, a filer. That could end it badly. There we go. And you can somewhat see it has just a little bit of black hinting at it, giving it more of a realistic effect in my opinion. So I'll just like standing down in between these little grooves when it comes to a Skywalker type saber. So. Pull on this. Fuck, I just got that on my hand, didn't I? Uh, fuck me. Well. Pain in my hand. Even though this one I might not be able to do this is so tightly grooved. Okay. And we got that kind of basically sanded out. This should just be wet enough. And yes, I use my fucking pants as a towel. Just fucking sue me if you want. So now what I'm gonna do is go over as, as well as I can get around the details I don't want painted. Let's go through here. Like I said though, very lightly try to go around. Please. We don't want 
want painted. Fuck. Might be a little too wet. I don't know. Try to get as much of that paint off as possible. Areas you don't want it. Try to get all the water off. Starting to affect the paint. Really try to go through. Just really try to get this to stick. Now, I do it by sector, I guess you could say. Once that starts to dry off. So we're just trying to stain this right now. Really try to get that lightness on there. Let's do this. So now there's just a light coat of red there. Because we are going to go back and heavily coat this thing. With dryer stuff. Actually, you know what? I'll use my fingers, see if that works. You know? See if that works. I haven't tried my finger yet and it looks like it come out well, actually. Using a finger can get off a real red staining. Like I said, I do work in sections. Let's try to work with me there. Like I said, this is going to look really nice in the end. Really, uh, try to give off this bloody effect. That sticker is going to be more defined, though. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Try to get through here. Get all the way around. Try to keep an even coating. Just try to. It's very baseline. Don't forget what sabers are these little things. Get in there very lightly. Since a lot of the times blood gets burnt off in this area. that. Now, we have some of a bloodied look, but again, we don't keep this on. We go through, we just lightly tap it down, get up all that wet splotching. Just tap it down, just enough to get all the splotching and shit. Nothing you don't want. You should hit those loopy spots, but yeah. As you can tell, there's like a little bit of red tint. Should go through here and blend that a bit better. But yeah. There we go on that. That red tinted look. Again, this is just to make it look as if it's been in a lot of battles. So now what I do, make a toothbrush, just tap on a little bit of paint to help spread. Up and down. Really give this thing a nice coat. You may want to retap it halfway through on larger savers or savers that just have a lot of odd odds and ends. This will help really define it. Really give it that look you're looking for. A bloody old saber. Just kind of really define it and give it look like blood dripped remember get in here and now look at that it looks like it's been dripping <coughs> I may not be able to film all of this but uh 
yeah, I will be posting pictures of the final product on our Twitter over at AirsoftFatty36. So now use the back end of your brush if it has bumps. Come through here, putting a literal layer on, and then just going through and literally just filling in. Again, pretty easy step here. This is the again, this is just the first like beginning portion of this project. I'm probably gonna end up adding more coats to this. In the end, it should just look really cool. So now take, this is what I like doing, I take the bristle brush and just light, like barely touching the saber, go over, add more scratching, really make sure it looks as if blood has really like, fell on this weapon, like it's been in a bloody pit. And as you can see, that really defines it well. Really gives it that bloodied look. Um, just yeah. Really nice looking saber. So, yeah, it should barely be touched by any red. Then, take your brush. To get in between these little areas, because this one is definitely weirdly done. Definitely one of the awkward sabers I own. Honestly, I'm just going to go through, put in some gobs of paint in between every so often. Just to get, oh fuck, fuck. That's another thing, I'm trying to speed through this to give you guys a video to see how I do things with these savers. But it's not a good idea to do. Hold it at the clip. Let me give this a look. I'm giving this the Natural look that I can. All right, so there's that. Try to pick it up. And now, what I'll do again, <clears throat> get these in for a moment, get them cleared up. And now comes the most important part of this brush. Is I will lightly tap, mainly getting the edges, so it can barely be covered, and just going through one more time, adding more of a definitive look, adding more veininess to it. And you may have to re tap like I've got to do. But uh, it's a real fun project to do actually, painting savers. Surprisingly calming. But you shouldn't need more than like a squirt of paint for the whole project, really. I might need some more, but again, that's just the way I use paint and stuff. This saber should come out beautifully. I think it'll come out very nice, very bloody. And I have finished my main coat. So I will try and not get paint on my camera and pan around so you guys can see. But it is a very blood dumpy effect. As you can see. It should look very, very vain, very, very cool looking. This is, this is literally what I do. Now I'm going to take this upstairs with me, I'm going to try live streaming again. I can't make any promises for some reason. It's saying the service is out of order. I've been also getting violently ill on and off today with getting sick, so if during the stream at all I do stop, there's a good reason. Um, but yeah, everything should be good. 
Talk to you guys later.